What's going on, fight fans? This is Laura Kelly with Iconic Eye TV MMA here at Gredge Training Center in Arvada, Colorado with, well, I think everybody knows you, but just in case you don't, this is Pat Barry. We're going to catch up with him, find out what's been going on, and just a little bit about life. So, this is very cool. Um, one thing before we even get started, it's Pat Barry, B-A-R-R-Y, not B-E. Just throwing it out there for the world to know. Barry. How many how many times do people get that wrong? So many, every day. Every day. I think it's the Wisconsin people. I think it's them. I think it's them. The, oh, Pat Barry, eh? I'm like, Barry. Like, right, Barry. I'm like, oh, man, that's not it. That's not it. Well, okay, so talk to me besides your main spelling problems. But talk to me about what? <laughs> B capital. <laughs> I changed it to Barry. Now yeah. everybody starts calling me Barry. Now I have nightmares for us in my life. That'd be horrible. Well, teaching classes. I'm um, always, I'm always training. Um, teaching classes here uh, at Grudge, um, but really more than anything else, the number one priority right now. Mm. Wow! Put up with that. <laughs> the num the number one. Who was that, Pat? <laughs> Y'all know who that was, man. <laughs> Y'all know who that was. Everybody knows who that was, right? My Y'all got to be ready. Oh, you yeah. never know. That's a, that's a very good. Uh, that's a very good lesson taught right there. The fight's never over. All right, no matter what, even if you're driving home in the car, you never. You have to look in your back seat because you never know where Rose is. Just right? when you think. <laughs> Just when you think it's over, it's never over. Um, but teaching. Yeah, that was a. That was a, that's a, a that hard. Was a I, I could tell you exactly what size glove <laughs> that was. You're ringing off the way. Off the way that right in my cheekbone. <laughs> but all right, so where was I? What were we talking about? We were talking about what you're I'm doing. Te I'm teaching jujitsu right now. Right? No, um, yeah, I'm coaching <laughs> classes. Um, I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm coaching classes. Uh, right now, but more than anything else, the number one priority is getting Rose ready for Tough 20. She's going to be on season 20 of Tough 20. She's going to be on season 20. Of, she knocked me out, yo. She's on season 20 of Tough 20 with a $20 bill. <laughs> She's going to be on season 20 of Tough. They start filming July 1st, so we're three weeks out. Um, 16 girls is going to be the first all-female uh, season, man. No, no guys, it's all girls there. Just fighting it out until uh, whoever is the final winner, whoever wins. Is the champ, so we're just getting re getting rolls ready, throwing her through the, tr throwing her through the trenches. And you know, it's time to go. You know, I talked to her a couple months about that too, and one of the things she told me is she doesn't start anything, but she finishes it. How do you think she's going to fare in the house with sixteen women living in one house? There is, <laughs> there is, I think one of two possibilities: either Rose is going to be rose and she's gonna be stone cold and the whole time she's gonna be get along with everybody but she's gonna be a ferocious animal or she's gonna get kicked out the first week <laughs> not from losing a fight but from throwing knives at people or something i just think she's gonna get kicked she there's, there's a possibility because you, you never know rose has zero hesitation yeah. and that is a big thing that uh a lot of people don't have so it's not one of those Hey, 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 I'm going to kick your ass, bro. I'm going to do it. And, and, and all this, she's got no hesitation. It's, oh. it's just, you step on her shoe accidentally. and next, You saw that. I didn't even do anything. I didn't even do, I'm doing an interview. I, you're too close to the mic. Oh, that's why I got the punch. I mean, she's got no hesitate. So, uh, other than that. Well, well, she can take you on. I think she can take the 15 other girls on, frankly. Man, because I'm the size of all 15 of them. <laughs> that's my lady hips. But um, no, I think she's she's gonna do fantastic. She's gonna get on. She's she's gonna be there. She knows what she's there for. She knows what people expect of her, and she knows what not to do. She's not gonna go in there and be a character. She's not gonna be the one in the thong all the time. She's not gonna be the one who's getting drunk every night. She's not gonna be the one who's pretending to do this and that. She's got no agenda other than beat everybody. So as a coach, walk me everybody. <laughs> as a coach, as a trainer, walk me through a day with her. What are you guys kind of doing? Especially we we're so close now. So the day starts out with me waking up 30 minutes early to prepare breakfast, like the nice sweet man I am. All right, we wake up in the morning. Um, the morning starts out with with a glass of water and breakfast, a little bit of breathing, meditating. She does uh, yoga in the morning. Then uh, we come to practice. Um, for maybe 11 o'clock is like our first practice for the most part. Uh, we just go through a few drills, this and that, then we go grab lunch um, that I make myself with my hands, my man hands. I souffle lunch. Uh, after that, just rest, relax, play with the dog all day, man. And, uh, and around evening time, we really have a, 
a really a really stiff training, whether it be wrestling, whether it be jujitsu, whether it be striking, whether it be lifting, whether it be pushing her car home ten miles, it doesn't matter. But there's something like in the morning starts off kind of like just to wake up, but because. For the most part, not all the time, I mean, I know the show is different, but for the most part, you fight in the evening. So your hardest practices are at nighttime, around the time that you fight, just to be accustomed to it at all times. Well, I think the, the important part and something I always talk to people about is the nutrition and how important that is. And just even with you guys, I was preparing for a photo shoot and I went on the fighter diet and the nutrition was literally 75% of it. And so for a fight, it's even more important. Um, the punching and kicking aspect of fighting is the smallest bit. It's not, it's not about that. It's not, well, oh, punching and kicking is fighting. No, man, and everyone thinks that we go to practice for an hour a day and then that's it for the rest of the day. You just have the easiest job in the world. It's like, no, man, if you're a fighter, if this is what you do, if you walk this path, you work 24 hours a day. It matters what you eat. It matters when you wake up, how you sleep at night. It matters if you're walking up and down stairs, you've got to be careful. You don't want to slip and twist your ankle. I mean, it, everything, what you put inside of your body, it's kind of like just putting, can I say sh and then Yes, or do I have to say poopy gas? <laughs> like, can I? All right, <laughs> shitty gas. It's like putting just really, really, really bad fuel inside of your car. You won't, it won't function as well. So what you put, what you consume, what you put inside of your body is gonna, is gonna show. It's gonna show a lot. If you eat McDonald's all day and night and that's it, like me, then you, you'll see that. But if you're like Rose and you like a fairy in the forest and all you do is eat things you grow yourself and this chick grew a potato. She grew a potato. I can't even grow a potato. She grew a potato too close to garlic. I burned and some water. Cilantro. So <laughs> that's impressive. She grew, grew it. I was like, well, when did this happen? Why do we have a forest in the second room? What was going on? She grew a potato, cilantro, and two cloves of garlic. Her grandma, I mean, she's just being Lithuanian. You know, they eat everything that they, like the vegetables all day and night. They're not big fast food people. They're not big drinkers. They're not big, you know, all, all the things that we indulge in here. Well, then speaking of family being a big influence, I know one of your big influences is your mom. Talk to me about some of your influences throughout your life and how she in particular is influenced. Well, my mother, according to me, was uh, she's the biggest hero I've ever had. She's the strongest person I've ever known. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, everyone's got their own mother story. I had a mother who had three kids and a dad who passed away when I was, like, I was young. I was like six years old when my dad passed away. So my mom had three kids that she, with no support, she didn't, she didn't want anybody's help. She was going to handle it all day and night. So according to me, she never sleeps. I've never seen her eat anything and she never sits down. She's always on the move. She's always handling everything. You can't throw any obstacle in her way that she can't overcome, man. And that, that right there was a big driving force in me becoming the kind of man that I am now. But other than my mom, Saget from Street Fighter, Super Shredder from Ninja Turtles, Mike Tyson. That Mike Tyson, I think, was one of the first fights I ever remember watching. Ever, first fights I ever remember watching was the Tyson fight um, because my family would all, they would all start coming over for these big dinner. Oh, Tyson fights on tonight. Are you ready? And the fight, y'all ready for the fight? Ding, boom, it's over. Oh, damn. All right, well, I guess go back to eating. Like, that's all it was. So Mike Tyson was a giant, like, a big factor in my life. That was the moment when you said, I want to do that. That's what I want to do. That was the moment when I said, that looks really cool. I don't know if I want I don't want to feel that. <laughs> like, that looks really cool. But then, uh, you know, always wanting to be a ninja my entire life. I mean, I saw Tyson punching everybody to death, and he was ferocious, like a, like just like a walking Rottweiler, man. But uh, I saw Ernesto host versus Rob Common back in, like, 1989 or something like that. And that was the first kickboxing match that I remember watching and like watching like live, not just a video clip, but just a kickboxing match. And um, after I watched that fight, uh, I was like, this is what I want to do. This is definitely what I want to do, for sure. So before we wrap up, um, I know I've taken up so much of your time today, but is there anything, what, what's coming up? Anything you want to talk about? Um... Well, uh, like I said, we've got until July 1st, until Rose leaves for the show, she's the only thing that matters in the world. Um, so we've got Rose coming up on season 20 of Tough. Then I'm, I think my next glory match will be in July, somewhere I think towards the middle of July. I think, hopefully, I don't know. We'll see whenever the next event is. Um, other than that, just training, man, raising a puppy. I have no idea how you can have a kid. That's the cutest dog. I have ever no been. idea how anybody can have a baby, man. I've, the dog, I've, like, I can't love anything more than that. Like that's ridiculous. If you, <sighs> like. <laughs> I mean, it's a pop. I'm, yeah, we're getting a dog. Oh, we're going to get it. Oh, it's nice. And we had it for seven minutes, and I'm like, I love you. 
now I'm gonna be your, I'm a dog's crazy boyfriend now. People all the time, I try to pet your dog, I'm like, nope, nope, don't even look at her. <laughs> it's kind of the gym mascot, too. Yeah, man, she's always here, yeah, man. If anybody needs their feet licked or shoes cleaned, she's what, the one. What's her name? Her name is Mishka. Mishka. M-I-S-H-K-A with like some weird V over one of the letters and this swiggly line, Mishka, Lithuanian for forest. All right, well. Not Russian for bear, Lithuanian for forest. Well, thank you, Pat. Watch out for Pat. Uh, hopefully, Glory. Watch out for Rose on, you know, top, top 20. 20. And watch out for Mishka at the gym. This is Laura Kelly with Iconic High TV MMA.